there was a uh, recruit who's uh, Darius Basley, and he was going to go to Syracuse. But he decided, and he's a five-star recruit. He committed to Syracuse, changed his mind, and then he was going to go into the G League. So he decided last week he's not going to go into the G League. Instead, he's going to spend the year training and getting ready for the NBA draft. He agreed to a deal with New Balance. It's worth a guaranteed $1 million, so he gets $200,000 a year as his salary, and it could go up to $14 million with incentives, according to the New York Times. Now, Jim Beheim, the Syracuse head coach, said he, I guess, tweeted this out. He said, LeBron did a nice job of helping his client. It's LeBron's client, right? Question mark. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, this is what LeBron James has done. And then LeBron's, uh, he uh, tweeted back, oh, they big mad, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. But then Jim Beheim responded to him on Twitter less than 30 minutes later saying, not me, I'm happy for him. I wish him the best, Jim Beheim. Uh, okay. He wishes him well. He wishes he would be in the Syracuse lineup as a five-star recruit. But I wonder if you're able to do this. How many players could you do this with? Let's say LeBron James and his, his management team go, why don't you not go to college? We're going to help you with Nike. We're going to get you an internship that's going to pay you $200,000. You sign with us, and we will have your rights, and so will Nike by the time you get into the NBA. I mean, imagine if LeBron said to Zion Williamson, who is you know, projected to be the best player in college basketball this year. He went to Duke. But he says to Zion Williamson, hey, don't go to Duke. You don't need to. We've seen your highlight reel. Sign with me, with my company, my agency, and you're going to get $200,000. So you're going to make more than the G League. And I'm going to get you an endorsement deal with Nike. And you're going to get my training regimen. I'm going to train you. Yeah, Paul. I think this is absolutely just step one for LeBron and his team. I wouldn't be surprised in five years if LeBron has an IMG Academy because who, who's going to be a better recruiter, LeBron James or Mike Krzyzewski? Believe me, Duke is a great place to go for one year, but uh, there's no money there. There's you, you got to delay it. The other thing, LeBron and his guys may be getting these guys on the cheap because New Balance is getting this kid now before he's a n the number one draft choice. Yes, yeah, he It feels like LeBron and his people are in a unique position to do this too because not, you know, random sports agency can't really pull this off. Yeah. I, I feel like it, it says a lot about the player when it's LeBron that's choosing you, not Jimmy Lipper agent. Yeah, I think if you're able to say, I'm going to train you, you're going you're gonna to have access to everything that I have. And if we set up an academy, we set up a camp, it's in Los Angeles, I'm going to be able to see you occasionally. Uh, you know, when I, I don't have a game, I can go over there. Uh, you know, he's not going to scrimmage against them, but it feels like you could have a group of five to ten where Nike's going to benefit from this. Yes, McLovin? Playing devil's advocate, what about the uh, notoriety of playing for Duke and being on national TV and ESPN and Big Zion Monday? Williamson does not no need that notoriety. Really? Even the Final he, Four? No, no, he's, he's famous. Go I, say the second or third player who's not quite as famous as him. Well, yeah, there's always going to be the trade-off of even if you went to the G League, you're not going to we, – we might show your highlights on SportsCenter, but you're going to be – you know, you're going to be down the list before you get on Sports Center. there. I think with Zion Williamson at Duke, he, he's already had his notoriety. He's been famous for five years. Um, I can understand that if you want to get paid, uh, you don't want to run the risk of getting caught getting paid in college or asking for something. Everything's above board here because you got three Adidas employees who uh, could go to jail because they were – see. What's weird is the shoe company guys are the ones going to jail. These coaches who, you know, were involved in the process, I, I haven't heard anybody's in trouble. Are the parents who took the money in trouble? Is the IRS going to ask about this? I mean, there's a few things. The judge said their actions tarnished an idea, ideal, which makes college sports a beloved tradition. What is this judge thinking? Does this judge know what happens in college sports? Like, you, I can't believe it. You gave $25,000 to this guy to give it to that guy to give it to this player, and you've tarnished the ideal, which makes college sports a beloved tradition. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.